Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. Mr. Director. Oh, you should have let us know you were coming. Oh, it's not a big deal. I'll be quick. By any chance, do you film all your games? Uh, we do. Oh, we that's even good. have a record archive. Oh, very good. If I may, I would like to see the last match. Oh, about that. We didn't film the whole match, just in parts. I only need to see when my son gets injured on the ice. Uh, believe me, it was just a rough game, that's all. I don't doubt that, but I'd still like to take a look. Let me go check the record room if they can get it ready, okay? I'll go too. Oh, Victor, sir. Honestly, stopping the puck with your body, it's a hero's move. Honestly, I only have one son. Should I play it again? No need. Coach Surge, I only have one question for you. I'm listening. Tell me, does my son have any potential in ice hockey? I'll be honest with you, sir. I thought that hockey was just a mere hobby for him. But now, I've sort of changed my mind. And why is that? I realize that if he takes his training seriously, he'll become a promising player. I see. All right, then. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, but do you see your son in a different career? First of all, I would like to see my son get well. Believe me, he's doing all of this for a reason. I hope so. Will you please sit down? No, I can't. Sit down. You're not the only one worried. How long does the surgery take? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. How is she, doctor? The surgery went well. She's fine now. Thank God. When can we go and visit her? Young man, she needs to stay in the ICU. Then we'll decide what to do based on her recovery rate. Don't rush things. Just give us a time frame. I can't say. Call me later. Thank you, doctor. I missed your cookie so much I could eat all this. I can see that. This is the last one. Oh, is it? Do you want Edward to not be able to lift me up on the ice? Well, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Aline, I'm just kidding. Come on, go ahead and eat. No, I need to go through my stuff. By the way, uh, were you able to charge my phone? <gasps> Was I supposed to? <sighs> yes, I asked you to do it. When? <sighs> Never mind. Hello there, son. Hi, Dad. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, but this thing is tight as hell. <laughs> well, you'll have to cope with that. The doctor said you'll have to wear it for some time. Yeah. Does it hurt? Well, if you turn suddenly, then it does. Then don't make any sudden movements. I'm doing my best. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed. What do you mean? I mean you. Andrew, what is going on with you? What is going on with me? That's what I'm asking. I've always admired you for your pragmatic mindset. You've always thought with your head. But no, you used your head to block the puck. What? Is that your answer? It was an accident. What if it were two inches higher? We've got a helmet. Well, what if you weren't wearing a helmet? What do you really want, Dad? What I want? I want to understand how deeply involved you are in this whole hockey thing. How important is it to you? Gregor, get your team out on the rink now! No sleeping in here! Simon! Huh? What, huh? Uh. 
Get a move on, you slowpoke! Well, that's weird. Mom, I'm back in an hour. Why is that? I have to go. Aline, you've just arrived. Your dad will be here to have lunch with us in half an <sighs> hour. Mom, I'm sorry. I'll be quick. Aline, wait! Well, you were trying to impress Jane, right? What's she got to do with it? Tell me she's got nothing to do with it. As if she wasn't in the stands and she didn't visit you here at the hospital. By the way, she called today and asked about you. Is there something going on with you two? If there was something, she would have called me and not you. All right, you'll figure it out. Still, you didn't answer my question. What question? Hockey. Do you need it? Excuse me, guys. Sorry for interrupting. Here, Andrew. The farms are all signed. You're cleared for discharge. Wait, but his neck still Ooh. hurts whenever he turns his head. Don't worry, it'll go away soon. Just apply cold compress at home, the hematoma will subside. Besides, there's no point in staying here. There's no reason to keep him here longer. I wish you the best. You're a hero. Thank you, Doc. Excuse me. So, Dad, let's go home. You still haven't answered my question. Dad, I just haven't decided on it yet. I'm sorry. Everybody! I hope everyone remembers. Who are we playing next? We're playing the chemists. That's correct. The last game in our bracket. What's our score difference with them? Two points. Come to think of it. If we win against the chemists, we'll enter the playoffs in second place. Otherwise, in third place. Is there a difference? It's better to face Legion in the semis than the Lions. I agree. Coach Serge, we can easily beat the Chemists. We've already done that once this season. That mindset is great, but the arguments are not that convincing. And why is that? Because it's not the same Chemist team you played against three months ago, Valentine. The team has acquired two new forwards, and they score a lot. Plus, they have Danny on their team now. Well, what do you mean Danny's on their team now? Our Danny? Yes. Our Danny. Wait a second. How do you know about this? He told me himself. That's weird. I thought you knew all about it. Why are you all staring at me? I didn't invite him there. Anyway, enough with the chit-chat. We have to practice. Coach Serge, about Danny. Gregor, you don't have to say anything. Don't worry about it. It always happens in sports. Hey, bro. Alec, right? Yeah, that's me. Can I talk to you for a minute? What for? Well, I just want to chat. About what? You'll know soon. Let's go. I'm actually in a hurry. Don't worry, it'll be quick. Come on. So? Listen. Uh, hasn't your mom ever told you not to hit women, especially not in the face? Listen, if this is about Victoria, she asked for it. She needed to learn a lesson. And what are you to her? Father, brother, husband? And what are you to her? <coughs> if you ever touch her again, you'll get worse than that, you understand? Look alive! Hey there. 
Hello. Well, welcome back. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you. No worries. Did you receive my message? Yeah, I got it. It's just... It's just? Well... Look, Michael. Let's be honest here, okay? Do you have a new girlfriend? No, of course not. What is it, then? My grandma had a surgery and I was at the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. How's your grandma? She's fine now. <sighs> the stadium is open, Michael! What? I said the stadium is open! Don't knock! Why did you leave? I'll be back in a second. I'm pretty sure at least 40 seconds have passed. I'm sorry. Call me later? All right. Bye. Gather up, everyone! Hey, guys. It seems Michael's being coerced into figure skating. <laughs> I notice my words are falling on deaf ears. You think lack of concentration during practice will be replaced by in-game focus? All right, then. Put away the cones. Let's throw everything at the goalkeeper. Let's go. Hey, Gregor. Why didn't you tell us about it? About what? About Danny. Is that even a big deal? Sorry for not telling you guys. Does that mean he takes a train to attend his practices? I don't care how he gets there. <sighs> Buster plane. How is it over there? How should I know how it's at at the chemists? Didn't he tell you about it? Well, I'm not that interested. Why don't you give him a call and ask him about it? He can tell you the whole story. Why are you so upset? Because you're asking stupid questions. Why don't you just leave him alone? They've always been fighting, so now it must be even worse. I just asked a question, and he just gave you an answer. Oh, come on. How many times do I really have to tell you that wet cleaning has to be done in the locker room four times a day? Yes, four times. Twice before and twice after each practice. And remember, you have to clean it as many times as necessary. Got it? Well, if you're not completely satisfied with your salary here, let me remind you that we have a lot of unclean streets out there and they won't pay as much. Yeah, so you better think it over. That will be all, thank you. Don't you want your locker rooms to be nice and tidy? <laughs> I'm listening. Mr. Vadim, I just want to thank you. Ah, the operation's done? Yes, it went yes, well. great. Well, thank God for that. Thank you, because if it wasn't for hey, you... Hey, then... hey, okay, 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 enough of that. Michael, don't make me a divine savior. I had a chance to help. So I help. Yeah, and about the money, we'll try to pay you back as soon as we can. Forget about the money. And sir, if there's anything else I can do for you... There is. Score more goals. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. That's perfect. Excuse me. Thank you so much again. Uh-huh. Have a nice day. Hello. Yes? Oh, I see. Is that so? So you mean to say she's already fired? Uh-huh. Who else is unhappy? Gregor? Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, any plans for tonight? Well, I do have some. Why'd you ask? I want to invite you for an interview. We just recently met about this, didn't we? That was for the profile. And? And now everyone is debating about the last match at the forum. They have questions for the captain. They've been talking a lot lately. Well, she's the PR manager, in case you didn't know. I know that. But I don't think it's business. What are you implying? Me? Oh, God forbid. Look, she's nice to everyone all the time. That's her job. She is. Just say what you want to say. Well, it's just Gregor already had three interviews while the other players got none. And you think that? Don't you think it's a bit will weird? Will you shut up? I will shut up. But you need to open your eyes. May I come in? Sure, come in. Hey, Serge, any plans for tonight? Any suggestions? Uh, how about a nice dinner with no sausages? What do you think? I'm sorry? 
I mean, eat something tasty at a restaurant. What's the occasion? There's always an occasion if you have money. It's on me. All right. Oh, it's settled then. So, you mean to say that Mr. Vadim handed you 10,000 just like that? Yeah, can you imagine? Oh, wow, that's great. He's such a cool He's dude. He's super cool. If not for him, he would have been doomed. I even went to the bank with my dad to apply for a loan. And then? It was turned down. But why? They weren't satisfied with my dad's salary. Oh, I see. Which bank was that? Uh, I forgot the name, but it was just opposite the jewelry store. Wait, what was it again? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know which one. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Okay, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, but I'll be happier if I have some ice cream. Ice cream? Mm-hmm. All right, then, let's go. <laughs> I don't get it, Danny. What are these floor mops doing here? You're crazy, aren't you? Me? Crazy? Who are you trying to impress by parading this shit here? Pick that up right now. Oh, you wish. Showing off to the coach? Like I'm so cool, I played with the chemists. Now you're pissing me off. If you don't pick that up, you're gonna lie down next to it. And who's gonna strike me down? You? Huh? I won't have to. All right, bring it on then. <coughs> crazy freak! <coughs> Stop it, you two! Gregor, that's enough! Enough! Pick it I up! Said, I won't! Stop it, I said, you two! Pick it up! Enough! Why don't you even pick up that trash? I said enough! Oh, God. Are you both out of your minds? Can't you see your mother is standing between you two? Sorry, Mom. What about you, Danny? I'm sorry. Why did I even give birth to the two of you if you just killed each other over a piece of fabric? Are you really in your right minds, or should I send you for treatment? Sorry, Mom. It won't happen again. You know, I always hear your apology 300 times a day. If I catch you at it one more time, I'll move the hell out of here. Is that clear? You live on your own. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. You were lucky mom came in. Get out of here. What did you say? Rainbow trout? What animal is that? <laughs> I know it's a kind of fish. What does it look like? Tasty enough? Bring some home then. I just hope Simon won't get allergies like the last time. Oh, here he is. Your mother's on the other line. Hello? Yes, mom, that's fine. All right. No? No. Yes. Yes, Mom, everything's fine. All right, see you. Bye. What are you? Picking potatoes over the phone or what? Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. Zoe, all right, I'll feed our son now. What did you say, sausages? You haven't brought the trout yet, have you? Don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Okay, see you. Go wash your hands. Okay. Wait a second. Did you meet up with Vadim? I did. <sighs> How did it go? It was all right. What do you mean by that? Well, he said it was a test. What kind of test, Simon? Oh, uh, a test before the playoffs, whether I would agree to it or not. That little crook. He found a way out. Did he threaten you? No, in fact, he praised me. He praised you? Okay, then. Well, so when the troops are in town, you better put your army gear on. What do you mean? You'll get it, so go and wash your hands. All right. <sighs> what a crook. Why don't we go to the movies? To the movies, then. Okay, Gregor. What's wrong with you today? There's nothing wrong with me today. I see that you're in a bit of a mood. What happened? Oh, crap. 
Play with crap and you'll get covered in it. Very funny. Well, you're not telling me anything. I'm so fed up with my little brother. I can't live under the same roof with Look, him. just ignore him and your brother will calm down. It's hard to ignore him. His chemist clothes and stuff are scattered all over the house. What if we just rent an apartment? What for? <laughs> what do people rent apartments for? We'll live together. No one will bother us or get on our nerves or scatter their stuff around. And the money? You know, my aunt is heading out of town soon and she has offered me to stay at her place. You mean for free? <laughs> Not exactly. We'll pay for electricity, water, gas and stuff. We can go there tonight and take a look at the place. Oh, you see, I already have plans tonight. What are your plans tonight? You don't have any practice. I've got a meeting. It's about the website. Mm-hmm. So you're meeting the girl that's been constantly hanging around at practice. Maria, she's the PR manager of the but team. But she doesn't stop being a woman because of that. Are you jealous or something? Should I be? No. If that's the case, then I'm not jealous. All right. We'll go to the apartment tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you for today. For today? I mean, it's just five o'clock. It'll be too early to thank you for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Aline. What? You know, I missed you so much. Me, not so much. <laughs> I mean, not just so much, but so very much. Who gave you the flowers? Why don't you answer? <laughs> because you know perfectly well who gave me these flowers, Mom. Look at you. It means this hockey player is more precious to you than your own father. I didn't say that at all. But you're demonstrating it. Your dad dropped by for half an hour to see his daughter, but she has something more important to do. <sighs> I already called Dad, Mom, and I apologized. Besides, we'll see each other tonight. Aline! Can you please tell me what I should do to make you break up with this hockey player for good? His name's Michael. It doesn't matter. It does matter to me. Oh, it matters, huh? Yes, it does. Aline, I'll say this one last time. This guy's family, they are... What? Can't you see? They don't belong with us. They're cut from a different cloth. Is that why you turned down their loan application? Yes. Come on, let's go. Okay, so what if I put it this way? In the same situation, would you block the puck? It's hard to say. I don't know. You don't know or you wouldn't do it? When you're in the rink, adrenaline shoots through the roof. You don't have time to think, you just follow your reflexes. I'll have some orange juice, please. hockey player of yours. He also complained to you about the loan, didn't he? No, he didn't. Then what did he do? I accidentally found out. All right, let's say you found it by accident. I decided to turn down your application because our bank does not issue loans to alcoholics and drunkards. Mm -hmm. Who do you consider alcoholics and drunkards? Well, he showed up with his father. Maybe your hockey player doesn't drink yet, but his father looked like he really drank a lot. Mom, you hardly know anything and about And what them. is there to know, huh? You should have seen his employment record. He's a loader, unskilled worker, and who knows what else. Michael was raised by his grandmother. So what? How is that even relevant? Oh, it is, Mom! His grandma is really sick and they needed the money for her operation. And you turned them down. <laughs> uh, 
Listen, I don't know any anecdotes about hockey. Well, you can either tell a funny story or an event from your life. Then I'm just gonna gather everything in one section. And we'll call it Fun Facts from the Den. That's mm -hmm. funny. So, anything? I remember one thing. In every man's life, there are periods when he's really disinterested in women. These are the three periods in the match of hockey's history. <laughs> That's funny. And I recently heard this one anecdote. It was about football, but you can change it to fit with a the hockey theme. Man sees a doctor and says, Doctor, I have a problem. Every night I dream of rats playing hockey. The doctor writes a prescription. Take this before you sleep and it'll go away. Uh huh. The man asks, Doctor, can I start taking the medicine tomorrow? The doctor asks, why start tomorrow? You see, they'll have their finals tonight. <laughs> 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 well, that's good. <laughs> I just remember this other story. One man was boasting to another. You can't imagine how much money I'm making in hockey. The other asks, what are you? A player or a bookmaker? No, I'm a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. How could I have known about it? For you to know about it, you need to talk to people more. Instead of turning them away, as if they're lepers. Alright, I admit I was wrong. If they really are in that kind of situation, you can ask them to come up tomorrow and I'll see what I can do. No need, Mom. Oh my god, did she die? No, thank God. There were kind people who helped them out. Aline. No, Mom. I was hoping that you would like this place. Yeah, I like it. Uh, good afternoon. Oh, you're finally here. Have a seat. Let me introduce you to my niece, Anastasia. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. I'm Serge. Nice to meet you too, Serge. I hope you're not driving. Well, I am. Just park your car here then. I've ordered some cognac. <laughs> it's a special occasion. What occasion? I've got a new category. Are you a driver? <laughs> <laughs> mm, she's a truck driver. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Actually, I'm a teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't apologize. In fact, you're sort of colleagues. In what sense? Well, you work with the youth, which means you're a teacher too. Oh, please excuse me. Hello, who is this? I can't talk right now. Could you please call me back later? Or so, even better. You should have warned me. Mm hmm Warn you about what? My niece came and she's staying at my place. We're celebrating her arrival. By the way, she's single. Yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn it. I almost forgot. Can I borrow your phone, Anastasia? My phone battery's dead. Hello, Greg. I'm so sorry. It completely slipped my mind. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll be there in no time. Anyway, while waiting for me, please go to the pharmacy and buy the medicines. Uh, everything's paid, so don't worry. <laughs> All right, buy me a pack of vitamin B. What's wrong? I have no idea. He took my phone with him. <clears throat> well... Do you want a drink with me? Mm, uh, yeah, sure I will. waiting for you. What for? What do you mean? I miss you, Andrew. You weren't answering my calls, and I was worried sick about you. Why were you? Isn't it obvious? The ambulance took you away in the middle of the game. Oh, I'm doing okay now. They've already sewn my head back. I have to go. I still have to eat. Andrew! I'm really hungry, okay? See you later. So that's it? You just played me and dumped me? It's still unclear who played with whom. It's over then. 
I heard the guys changed the moment you joined the team. Is that true? Who told you that? Uncle Basil. He's exaggerating. <laughs> he also told me how modest you are. It seems your uncle told you a lot of things. <laughs> Serge, why do you speak so formal to me? Do I really look old to you? What are you talking about? Hmm? I mean, mm -hmm. sorry. It's just... What? I have to go now. Can we at least wait for Uncle Basil? I'm afraid he isn't coming back. Why would you think that? Mm, I don't know, just a feeling. Well, maybe we can stay for 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes, then. <laughs> Shall we drink? Okay. To the pleasure of your acquaintance. Yes, no problem. I'm already here. Remind me, for which date? I'll call you back. Uh, I'm really sorry. I have to leave. We agreed to stay. Well, the circumstances have changed. Bon appetit. Have a nice day. Jane. What? What do I do to make you come back to me? Nothing. Hey, Basil. Hello, Serge. How are you? Tell me what was that all about? What exactly? Well, about yesterday's dinner. Hmm? Didn't you like my niece? It's not about whether I like her or not. What are you doing? What's the matter? I saw you were lonely and so is she. Did I ask you for it? Well, you never ask anyone for anything. So you decided to become a matchmaker? What if I did? What's wrong with that? You should get to know her more. She's a great girl. She's nice, likes children. All a man could wish for. You know, I'm looking at you now, and you never fail to amaze me. What do you mean? 
You know what I mean. Wait a second. Can't you hear me? What do you want? I wanted to say thank you. For what? Well, for teaching Alec a lesson. And who told you that? Well, he did. Tell him he's got the wrong guy. Anything else? Have a nice day. Hi everyone! Oh, hey! Back. How's your neck, Andrew? It's fine, I just changed some screws, but it's all good. When will you join the team? Right away. I doubt that. Hello, Doc. Where are you going? Practice, of course. Seriously? Well, I'm ready. Who told you that? I feel like I'm ready to practice. No, you'll be ready to practice when I say you're ready, you got it? Please, come on. I can't hear you. <sighs> got it. What are you waiting for? Surge is already frozen out there waiting for you. Move it! Come with me to my office. What for? You have your own program. What kind of program? Pulse, blood pressure, let's go. <sighs> oh, she's coming, she's coming, keep it down. Olivia. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> I'm Maria from cheerleading. This is Helena. I know you, you girls are cool. You did a great mm -hmm. job. Thank you so much. I think we should ask her, right? Uh, why do you ignore us? Me? How so? Well, you write about the hockey team, and you've interviewed quite a few players already. Some players three times, even. Mm-hmm, and still not one word about us. I mean, we're also part of the team, and we work as hard as the hockey players. <laughs> Girls, I was planning to interview you, it's just... It's just you don't have any time, right? It must be more interesting to write about the boys. Oh, you bet. I promise. I'll make up for it. When? Well... Let's do it right now. We have a rehearsal today, and we could actually talk and work out together. Work out? Yeah, why not? You'll experience how it feels like being a cheerleader. We'll be in the lobby. Will you come? Well, actually... Fantastic. We'll wait for you. Let's go. Search. What is it? Forgive me. I'm sorry, okay? I know it was silly, but I just wanted to help. Five years ago, Anastasia got divorced, and she's been alone ever since. Hey, Alex! Work it through the end! Work it through the end! You still have feelings for Julia? Basil, I'm in the middle of training right now. Simon! Don't hit it right in front of you! Harry and just move the stick away! So you still love her? Okay, I'm sweating like a pig now. Mm-hmm. And that Ooh. was only a rehearsal run. In the actual game, you'll be sweating like a horde of pigs. And you make it look like you're just jumping with pom-poms. Mm-hmm. Did you jump? You should take a shower. That's a good idea. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Should we do it? What do you mean? You dragged me into this and now you don't want to do it? Are you chickening out? No, I'm not. If you're not, then do it. <laughs> Gosh, I should have just gone there myself. Hurry, get out of the way. Are you dumb? What? Why? Don't why me. Where's the paper? Get it. Ugh. How long before the boys finish their training? We've got five minutes. Perfect. 
<laughs> hey, what are you doing? We need to leave now. Let's go. Come on, move it. Let's go. <laughs> hey! Somebody open the door, please! Wait. What's that? I think we got a woodpecker. <laughs> Hold on. It's in the girl's shower room. Let's take a look. All right. Look, guys. It says prostitute. <laughs> hey, somebody open the door, please! Whoa! Hey, who's that? Please Who is help it? me! <laughs> Who it is? Come on. Who's in there? The door, please! <laughs> Olivia? Whoa. Stop grinning, you idiots. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Clear the room. Let's go, guys, or else he's going to tear us to pieces. Yeah, come, on, come on. Are you all right? Thank you. I was just so scared in there. Oh, wait, where are your clothes? I don't know. I was just with the girls from the cheerleading team. Wait, I'll look for it. Damn it. I knew we should have taken her towel, too. Oh, no. The towel's a bit too much. It's okay. She has to live up to the title. So, you're the one behind this. What are you talking about? Give Olivia back her things. Do you know what he's talking about? Me neither. Don't even deny it. You were just discussing it. <laughs> I'll ask you again, Maria. Where the hell are Olivia's don't things? Don't shout at me! I'm giving you five minutes. If you don't give back Olivia her things... You'll what? I don't hit girls. But sometimes you look like a guy to me. Ooh, I'm so scared. Let's give it back. Sit tight, will you? If we give it back now, everyone will know it was us. What are we going to do? We'll wait it out, sit for five minutes, and then... Oops! We'll find it by accident. I don't get it. What the hell is this? Hey, Captain. Go talk some sense into your slut, okay? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Maria? I didn't stutter. What did you call her? After what she did, she deserves worse than that. Are you sure it's her? I'm sure. Well, I'm not, so apologize. Well, your slut should apologize to Olivia first. Hey, Anthony, watch your dad don't touch me. Take back what you said, or you'll regret it! Hey, hey, hey. 